is the 9251 barbless by the way uh from risen fly you don't have to use barbless but i like them and i really like these hooks um, we're tying a size 18 and then we're also the bead is also risen's uh, brass beads and they're two millimeter and the thread we're using is vivas 10 knot and if you saw last week i used uh vivas 16 knot much finer thread than this uh, for the black beauty basically the same fly but one has a bead now the reason why I'm using a thicker thread is because you want to build a little bit of a thread base behind that bead. It's just going to help. We're going to start the thread right behind the bead and come roughly around halfway. Same wire as last, last week, small size silver ultra wire. I'm going to put a slight bend in it and we're going to stick that, as you can see, right into the cavity of this um, bead. And that's going to help us when we wind on. So we're going to wind back up, up to the bead, because again, we're building a taper, a little different than last week. And then this is a flat thread, so I'm just going to flatten out my thread a little bit. It'll allow me to cover the hook a little easier with less wraps and less bulk. All right, so now we're going to come back down and same as last week I had mentioned while you're going down the hook. See, I tied on the side, by the way, and it'll make it so you don't see it as long as you keep the same bend as the hook. So as I go down, I'm instead of pulling up, I'm pulling down on the, the wire to just kind of match the angle of that um, or the, the bend of that hook. All right, so we're going to come back up. Now we've got a little bump there. I want to keep this as smooth as possible because that's where we tied in, went back up. So we're just going to go down two or three wraps. I want to keep that tail end as, you know, small and fine as possible. There we go. So now we've got a nice little taper on this. And we're almost there to where the bead isn't going to see how it's still wiggly. Okay, so I'm going to flatten out my thread once more. Get a nice, really smooth thread base here all right and then we're going to come down once more about halfway and then come back up and you just want these as smooth of wraps as possible you don't want any bumps all right so we're gonna make a couple wraps and you can see now that that bead is not moving so now we're just going to wrap our wire make open spiral wraps Try to make them as even as possible. Up the hook. And we come up all the way up to the bead. We capture it right at the bead. Wrap over it twice. And I pull it back and wrap over it once. And then twice, once again. And then we can come in. I'm just turning it a little bit. Sorry, it's a little out of focus, but we can just helicopter that wire off. And now I'm going to cord up my thread because it makes a little better whip finish. And you want to wrap back to front, but you don't have a lot of room here, so be careful. Three, four wraps. You don't want a lot here. Um, three or four is good. You can do five, but I'm cut this off close. Now today I'm using Risen's mitten scissors and you can see how tight that got me. You almost don't even see the tag end of the thread. These are really fine point scissors. And I showed you last week, this is um, also considered a fine point. But you can see how much thicker that is. These are uh, razor scissors by um, Dr. Slick, but these are just super fine tip and really sharp. So I, I like them, check them out. I mean, most stuff I'm using today, besides the thread and wire is from Risen Fly. There we go. And then for the final step, I like using this bone dry uh, or ultra thin formula from Risen Fly. Um, it's a UV resin, so you just paint a little on. It's kind of like a, a varnish, but it's actually a UV resin. There you go, it's super thin. You just paint a little on, let it soak into the thread wraps a little bit, and then you just hit it with your UV light. And there we go. And that is the finished zebra midge really good fly uh, for fishing midges if you want something a little heavier like last week 
I tied this and you can tell no bead, but we made like a little bump with the, with the thread. It looks like a midge pupa. Um, the bead now um, gives a little weight, but also it looks like an air bubble. So sometimes when midges are coming up to the surface, they create a little air bubble to be able to kind of help get them up. These are really good for fishing this and then dropping something like this on the back, that um, black beauty on the back of it. Okay. That way this gets it down and then the black, black beauty is a little, you know, is back behind it. And then you've got both an emerging and a uh, pupa pattern. Um, but they work great. I used to fish this a lot in the San Juan, you know, mostly the, the black beauty, but I would do this, this as well if I wanted to get down a little further and I didn't want to use lead. So that helps. Well, if you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe and also check out my sponsor, Risen Fly. They're the ones that made the hooks, the beads, and uh, the scissors I use today, but they also sell rods and reels, a bunch of other stuff that you could use for fly fishing. And the best thing about it is their prices are really good. So for instance, the beads, I believe they're in the four to five dollar range and um, you get 25 pieces. So that's really hard to beat, especially for beads, high quality beads at that. I mean, I found a few places that are maybe a little less expensive, but half the beads are, are no good. They just, uh, <laughs> you gotta throw half the beads away because they're, they're not well made. But every single one in this pack is really, you know, they're, they're all perfectly machined or however the process is that they do it. And the same with the hooks, you know, about the same price and you get 25. It's just hard to beat guys, um, really good quality stuff. Best off, they're offering you all a discount. So type in McFly at checkout and you'll get 15% of your first uh, off of your first order with them. So go to www.risenfly.com. And like I said, type in that, that discount code McFly at checkout and they'll give you 15% off of your first order. Now, after your first order, they do offer, you know, if you get on mailing list with them, sometimes they'll give you um, some discounts. So don't, you know, let that discourage you from ordering again from them, but definitely load up your cart, get a bunch of hooks, a bunch of beads. Um, that rod, by the way, they have a rod that's $119. They have some more expensive rods as well. Um, but that $119 is really, it's, it's an amazing rod. Um, one of my favorite rods to fish. And um, after that discount code makes about a hundred bucks. It's called the Genesis. It's one of my favorites. So like I said, everything they sell is really high quality. Check them out. I will see you guys in the next video. Now you go catch some fish.